Hi, my name is Dex from My Consult, and since 2003, we actually been helping business owners simplify their accounting processes. So we actually started this channel so that we can help more people use their accounting system more effectively. So if you like what we are doing today, do like and subscribe. Alright, so in today's video, we'll be looking into how we can actually convert raw material into finished goods. So based on our experience, there are normally two scenarios where we will need to convert our raw materials into your finished goods. So scenario one would always be building in advance, means your, your team will actually plan and then build on a day by day basis, alright? Okay, so let's say example, this one we would like to build 10 of our finished goods. So we come here to stock. We will come here to stock assembly and we press new and then from here we can select the product so let's say just now we said 10 right so we put finished goods and let's say we want to build 10 pieces here so select 10 here system will automatically convert and determine how many pieces we would like to use or we would have to use based on the formula that we already preset right let's open this a bit bigger so we can actually see all right so apart from that you see there's another column called quantity so quantity would be what is the quantity that is going to be used on an actual basis because when you manufacture there's not always a hundred percent accurate scenario there could be sometimes you will use more or less depending on the scenario right so let's say for example today instead of five pieces or five uh, units of this uh, raw material one i can change this to say 5.5 all right so once i change this to 5.5 the system will give me what is my variance quantity okay so and of course if there's a cost involved to it then the cost will spread that 0.5 over the 10 pieces that we are manufacturing so let's say there's no other changes all we just need to do is we press save and the product is being manufactured of course this message comes out means i do not have enough stock to manufacture this item but for this example we just press yes and we convert them into finished goods okay so when you come here to stock start item maintenance let's find my finished goods fg finished goods you can see i have 10 pieces now okay so this scenario one scenario two is actually when a customer orders and you will only build when the customer order right so to do that first of all we will need to key in a sales order so we come here to sales order we select customer, say testing serial number hat, and then we will select the same product. So example FG finished goods. And we say I want two pieces of this item and say ten dollars per piece. So once we're done, we just press save. Okay, so this is now customer order, then only you start manufacturing. So how are you going to inform the manufacturing team what needs to be done? So in AutoCount, we have this thing called a stock assembly order. So come here to stock assembly order, click here, we press new, and then instead of keying back what is the product, all we just need to do is we just press here, transfer from sales order. Select here, I'm going to manufacture all this, or I'm going to send all this for manufacturing based on my delivery date that we was actually set in the sales order and press ok the system will then detect what other raw material you require once done we just press save ok ok so now we already prepared the assembly order this document can be sent to your manufacturing team and once they manufacture all we just need to do is coming back to stock stock assembly press new so instead of keying back what's the item with the quantity all we just need to do is transfer from assembly order and from here we can say okay this item two pieces okay select two that's okay the system come out and of course again we can change the quantity if there's any variances right so once you're done we press save and then the system will update your finished goods all right so with this now you are able to convert your raw material and finished goods into auto count stay tuned for next week video where we're actually looking into what happens if we want to change certain raw material in the stock build all right so do leave a comment below if you have another topic you'd like us to cover thank you